Tamika Catchings really is one of the greatest basketball players of all time. She has four Olympic gold medals, a championship title, and now is the general manager of the Indiana Fever. She also happens to be a downtown business owner. She's a wife, an aunt, and as a black woman, she says racism does exist, and she wants to help create meaningful change. One thing that you think that you can do to help create change. Tamika Catchings is now hosting virtual public weekly meetings like this one to spark action. For so long, we've had conversations. It's like we talk about it. Every, you know, something happens. Everybody gets an uproar. We have conversations, and then nothing's done. And then something else happens. Another killing happens. Then and we fight for justice again and the conversation, and then nothing gets done. She's comfortable taking the lead. Yes, there are people worldwide who know her from basketball. But there's a lot of people that don't and that don't know me and that don't know that I play basketball. And so automatically you get judged by the color of your skin. And it's the reality of our life, not just me. It's the reality of a lot of us, our lives. And the things that you have to be careful of doing, the words that you have to use, the way that you have to do your hair, the way that you have to dress, and almost to the extent of creating a, being a perfect person that you know you're not. But when you go out into the world and you step out, you have to fit a frame, you have to fit an image so that you don't look scary. And that's just not right. She joined black women in charge with protesters at the Indiana State House. It was amazing. It was amazing to be a part of this. It won't be my last time. The diverse crowd there fuels her hope that there now is an audience listening. And so the title for this week is, So Racism Exists. How do we talk to our kids about it? And even though the word kids is in there, it's really how do I talk about it just in general? She owns Tease Me Cafe downtown, switching up to curbside service due to COVID-19. And when protesters took to the streets, someone put this note on her store's front door. I thought one of two things. One, you know, obviously the first thing, like, okay, from a protection standpoint, like being a black business, somebody felt like they needed to put that on there. And... You know, then the second part is off limits as far as what was going on downtown, a couple of miles down the road. Either way, I looked at it, I said, man, like for us to have gotten to this point where that has to be something that's posted on the, on the outside, you know, it takes me back to way back when, you know, when you're dealing with, um, you know, colored only, colored people only, white people only, like that's what it kind of my mind it kind of took me back to and uh i don't really know how i feel about it even to this day you know um what i do know is that i want to be a part of the change and i think the first thing the most important thing right now in this moment is we all are uncomfortable but it's okay to be uncomfortable and sometimes you have to use uncomfortable spaces and you have to get through uncomfortable feelings to be able to create change and that's what hopefully that's what majority of us want to do and if we do it together, we can make change. And that's the most important thing. Uh, so great to talk with Tamika this afternoon. The conversation she has now set up for Friday nights for the rest of the month. You can find them on the Tease Me Indie Facebook page from 7 until 8.30. The upcoming topics include racism, education, and faith. And if you missed one, you can still catch it there as well.